What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Kiss of Life finally released the last uh, pre-release, uh, the solo pre-release, uh, for their upcoming debut mini. Uh, and it's finally our turn to check it out. So, uh, we did check out the highlight medley. Uh, I was very excited after what I heard, uh, and very intrigued. So I'm, I'm excited to see this. Uh, we're gonna try something different. Normally I will watch them all in a row, like one after the other, but for editing purposes, I'm going to try it uh, in segments. So we're going to do all four in this one video, but they'll be broken up uh, in segments. So, all right, first up is uh, Sugarcoat, and this is the Natty solo. So let's go. Oh, this is the Dr. Dre-ish song. Okay. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? That low tone? I did not need to pause there. That low tone. Very, very nice. She, I, I, I liked her tone from the beginning, but all of a sudden, that. I need to hear it again. Very nice. And then she goes high. So you hear the very nice low tone. And then she goes high. Well, high for her range. I need to hear that again too. We're like not even not even a minute into this song. Hold on, let's just go back here. That's so nice. I like the processing on her voice right here. It's mixing with that synth in the left ear. She's a vibe. <laughs> hold on, hold on. First of all, she's got main dancer vibes. Secondly, what? What was that? The ad libs in this? The backup vocals? There's a whole nother song going on behind her with uh, the backup vocals. And the cool thing is, is that she, her main vocal is right, right down the middle, uh, and it's left alone. All these other vocals, even when they're harmonizing with her, they're not stacking with her. They're loose, uh, and they're floating all over the place. And it's a vibe. And what was this thing right here? That. That. K-pop does this R&B sound a lot. But that one little backup, like that is old school type of backup. And I've never, I don't think I've ever heard it in K-pop in a song like this, even though it is very fitting to a song like this. So let's hear that again. I'm glad I went back. Where's it at? That. Just once. Okay, that was really, really cool. It's a small thing, but we obviously pay attention to the small things here. There's so many of her going on right now. So 
I feel like that was one take. That was super, super nice. I don't even know where that started. I'm going to pretend it started here. I felt like she reached the edge of her range. That note right there. Damn. Damn. I feel like halfway through that, when she took that breath, you can hear the note stops, but you can hear the hum from her vocal cords. So you can still hear the air pushing for a split second after she ends that note. Uh, and to me, that just signifies that she's at the edge of her range, which isn't a bad thing because it's a beautiful range. Like she's got that low to mid range. And the highs that she does are so nice and full. And what's most impressive about her is, and this is deceptive too, because I don't think, uh, I mean, people are going to be impressed by the runs and stuff, but what they really should be impressed about is the fact that she has full control over every note in her range. We've heard her go from low all the way to the high. I'm I'm assuming she can go higher than that, but it's depending on the situation. If it's just a single note belt or something like that, I'm sure she can go higher than that. But the 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 range that she has full control over every single note, and that's very impressive. Usually, technical singers don't uh, impress me because technical uh, technique can be taught, right? Uh, but soul and vibe—that's a whole different thing. She has the technique but it also comes from vibe as well. Like she has a very, very nice vibe and I love listening to her. So that's mainly what I, what I look for. Right. Uh, and it's not always the technique that, uh, draws me in. So yeah, she's super nice. And for a song like this, that's usually not my vibe. It's absolutely playlist. So that was very, very, very cool. All right. Uh, let's just go back. We paused enough here. Uh, and uh, we'll let it vibe out. Okay, and I also have not been paying attention to what's going on in the video. But apparently, what, we're on the streets? Maybe living on the streets? And now they're fireworks. I did see the flyer thing, and now we're going to perform? Also, she has major Lisa vibes. I don't know if it's the outfits she's worn in this video, but... Or that hair. Or the dancing. Okay. Very interesting. Very uh, real life, right? Like the 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 concept and everything. Uh, very very cool and very impressive. Uh, not only with uh, her vocals, which we talked a lot about, uh, but the dance vibe that she had. Like she seemed very very strong and. She, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if she is main dancer. So, all right. So next up, uh, we're going to check out Belle. All right. So Natty's uh, performance was obviously very, very impressive. Uh, loved her tone. And next up is Belle solo with Countdown. So let's go. Okay. Okay. 
Interesting. Let me pretend to to pay attention to what's going on here. Okay, so that's her dinner. It's like a half a plate of just salad. And what was this letter? National Ballet School. Pleased to offer you a place at some, some, some university. Okay, I thought maybe it was a denial letter, but it's an acceptance letter, but she didn't seem happy about it. Okay, okay, I just wanted to, to check that out. She sounds nice, though. I love it. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Another great singer. I love the way she's captured uh, in this, the way she's processed all the breathing you can hear uh, in her uh, in her performance. The song is so good. And the backups as well. Very interesting. I'm going to wait for the backups. But yeah, really, really, really good. Okay, um, let's just go back here, I guess. The backups. And the counter melody for uh backup as well. Every single backup in this one section. Every line has had a different approach to backups. She started with a falsetto, then it went to the low tone, then all of a sudden she's doing a counter melody, and they're so loose in the left and the right ear. Same thing with Natty. Nat, you know, her voice is right down the middle. There's so many things going on vocally on the side. I, I, why is this standing out to me? It's standing out to me because we've heard a lot of great vocal uh, approaches, right, in vocal processing uh, and production in K-pop, namely like SM, right? SM is very good at, at blending all these voices together, making them feel very big, almost to where you can't even tell that it's, it's multiple voices, right? This is not even trying to do that. Those backups are so loose, even when they're harmonizing with her, which means that whatever extra voice is there is singing just exactly the same or with the same cadence and in time with the main vocal. They're not even concerned with that here. Everything is allowed to just live on its own uh, and just be a little bit uh, uh, out of tune naturally. Not out of tune, but out of time naturally. And it just makes it even vibier. Very, very, very cool. Okay, all right. Uh, let's just go back and just let it vibe in. Well, it's so yeah, very loose, very natural. <clears throat> if you're new here, we nerd out a lot. On the smallest things, I'll spend five minutes talking about a damn snare. But it's, I don't think I've ever been this, not thrown off, but impressed by backup vocals. I don't think I've ever really been this impressed in K-pop by backup vocals. I, I stopped here because 
She's doing that very nice oohs and ahs behind uh, uh, this section. They do a half note run, and it sounds tuned, but I, that's why I want to hear it again. Is it actually, excuse me, is it actually tuned? Let's just go back and hear it again. Right here. That. I don't think it's tuned. I think she's mixed with the synth. Whoa. The mom's grooming her for something, and she's not into it. Yeah, the half note run was nice, and I think it was just her blended with the synth. I love the backups in this song. There's a whole nother song going on back there. Oh, she's rebelling now, of course. This song is absolutely playlist if you have not guessed that by now. Very interesting. Also, are we in Europe? Okay, and the fireworks again. Okay, so I'm assuming all the girls are going to come uh, together at the end of this. Maybe under fireworks? or I don't know. <laughs> Either way, that was a total freaking vibe. She is very... Very impressive, very strong. And yeah, I think this is probably the first time I've ever been this impressed by backup production, backup vocal production, or vocal production in general. Like everything they're doing with these two voices we've heard so far has been very, very nice all the way around. Uh, and yeah, it's I'm, I'm just getting more and more excited now. So, okay, so next up is going to be Julie. All right, guys, so next up is Julie, uh, Julie Solo called Kitty Cat, uh, and I just want to reiterate, I am so impressed by what I've heard so far, so let's see what we do now. It looks like we're at a party or a club or something, so all right, let's check out uh, Julie Solo uh, called Kitty Cat. Everybody say ooh, everybody say yeah. Yeah. Yogi Jogi say my name. Across the line like this. Oh, oh. I see. Oh, 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 I just drums and bass behind her. That line was awkward. Okay, we'll pause after the first chorus. Okay, we're going to pause here. All right, obviously the hip hop y, rappy vibe. Uh, it's cool in the sense that it's not like the typical uh, K pop rap, it's like a singy rap. Uh, which is cool. It's not my vibe. It's that Espa type of attitude. Uh, and I'm just not crazy about the Espa attitude, to be honest with you. So uh, it's it's cool. I think the uh, the fact that there's it's just drums and bass and maybe a few, like, uh, not sirens, but little bell-type sounds come in, and that's it. And then just her. 
So it's very obviously they just want you to to feel her vibe. Uh, and it's cool. I mean, if you're into that type of thing, I'm just really not. But uh, I see what she adds to the group. Uh, so let's just go back a little bit and let it vibe out. Watch yourself for this queen for the night. Put your hands in the air. Boy, you come along, been wait a long time, but you know what? Come along, leave your turn, make it a one. Can't be that hurt, ain't done. I'm cool, you're selling dead, don't go to night radar. I'm a good to more than a chimney, boy, my cow day. Uh, uh, that came out of nowhere. I mean, you let them crowd surf you to the table. Okay. That was confusing. And unlike the other two, no real backups to talk about, which suits the song. It's interesting though that they're well we'll talk about the videos after. We just go, we just ride, we just go, we just ride, we just go, we just ride, we just go, we just ride. I feel like we've heard this chord progression, this bass line, so much. Not just in K-pop, either. It all started with the Western song, but I forget the name of it. Interesting. Oh, are they all going to end up at the same audition? I don't think I saw Bell interact with anything to do with an audition, though. Okay, either way, I'm sure they're going to find a way to get them all together. Uh, very, very cool. She's got a vibe. It's not really my type of vibe. That could just be the song, obviously. Uh, but she sounded nice. I can see what she adds to it. Uh, but the song is just not playlist for me. It's just not. Uh, um, it's just not something I'm into. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, we'll see what how they all work uh, together. So, all right. So next up is Hanul, and please forgive me if I'm uh, pronouncing that wrong. But we'll check her out right now. All right. So next up we have Hanul, uh, and her song is called "Play Love Game." So let's check it out. Oh, the Machne. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. She's very adorable. Let's just talk about it. Somebody did say in Discord uh, when they posted uh, this release uh, that they couldn't get a certain song out of their head. Uh, after hearing this, and obviously, it's Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I don't know if that's the name of that song that's played at baseball stadiums, uh, but everybody knows it by that name, right? Take Me Out to the Ball Game as a K-pop song. And she literally sang uh, new words over the whole melody of that song. Very interesting. Okay, let's check it out. I feel like, let's just go back. Let's just go back and watch from the beginning. Well. Partly for the beginning. No, let's just go back to the beginning. Why not? For the mock name. Very interesting. It's too early. It's too early. Hold on. She's very nice. Ooh. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna pause here. There's no time to pause. Hold on. Oh. There's Maddie. Okay, okay. First of all, she is super impressive. When she flipped that switch in this previous section, she sounded so strong. She, The whole beginning of the song, I got Machne vibes, right? When she kicked into that, I'm just like, holy shit. Now I see what she's capable of doing with uh, Natty and and Belle. Not that the, the Machne side doesn't fit with that, but I saw that. Okay, in a few years, side what they're gonna let her do with their with them, very nice. But the 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 youthful side too, the the beginning of the song, was she was she in on the stage at all? I don't even know. If, I mean, I don't even know how old she is. I think the youngest was eighteen. I don't even know if she's had time to ever do anything else other than be a trainee. But she's got she's giving me stage vibes. The, the melody that she's singing or the delivery she's giving for that take me out to the ball game part, it sounds very much like a stage performance. Like, a, like a, 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 it sounds like it's, a, it doesn't feel forced. It feels very natural uh, and it's just something about it gives me stage vibes. So I just wanted to talk about that. But yeah, she's super, super nice, nice too. So, all right, let's see if her and Natty actually interact. Let's go back. It could be the song too that's giving the stage vibe. So cute. <laughs> Yeah, that's That's so good. Yeah, we're going to pause here before that. Yeah, it, I think it's the song, too. The song has a, a stage vibe, too. It almost reminds me of, uh, like, the Annie musical just keeps popping in my head for some reason. Obviously, they're keeping it very youthful, but when they let her kick it in for, the, for, the, for those verses, man, she's going to be super. She's already super nice, but once the songs change tone, she's going to change right along with them because I can already hear what she's going to do. Very, very impressive, just like all the rest of them. So, all right, let's go back and let the song vibe out. That it does not feel forced at all. And I love the song. I'm sure some of you are wondering if I do. If you know, you know. Ooh, the way she said scene. Yeah, you guys got to let me know where these videos were filmed. Uh-oh. Yeah, she was super impressive. They're all super impressive. I wasn't crazy about uh, um, Julie's song, but that's just a song, right? We can't love everything. Uh, but her vibe, you know, her vocals and everything seemed cool. Uh, I just need a, a different song to actually experience them, at least in a way that's palatable uh, to me. But I'm sure she's going to be great. 
all the others that I that can confirm, right? They feel like natural vocalists, right? It doesn't feel uh, they don't feel forced. It feels like, in other words, they don't feel like studio musicians, right? Because we've seen we've seen it in K-pop, especially with new groups. They can uh, sound very good in the studio because they can do one line at a time if they have to till they get it right, right? To whatever the producer wants. When you get them live and they have to perform it without choreo, just standing there, that's where things shine through, right? I don't get that vibe from these girls. These girls sound like they're not just studio performers. They they are going to be stage vocalists, live vocalists too. Uh, much in the same way that I felt about uh, 50-50, but... Uh, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what their first lives look like. I really want to hear them, like all K-pop groups, without choreo. I just want to see them standing there uh, singing to us. Uh, it's just a, it's just a different kind of vibe. They can focus more on the vocals, and I'm sure they're going to be impressive. So, all right. Really, really, really love what we've heard so far. They're all playlist except for uh, except for the one song. And I don't think they're going to release any more, right? Because this is four songs. I don't know how many songs the mini has, but at least maybe two more, three. So I'm assuming we're just going to have to wait until the uh, uh, until the next uh, uh, until the debut comes out to the uh, title track. But we're definitely going to be here for it, and I can't wait to hear them all together. So really enjoyed this. If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>